It's day 15 for me on this solo trip in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. There's my trusty favorite paddle. I'm just taking a break here at the end of a short portage. I always try to find an organic area here um, or I'll find a log to put across in a rocky area to skid the boat in. So I'll partially load then skid down, partially load, skid down. Um, yeah, it's easier for me to do that. Once again, we have the portage crews to thank for cutting out the, uh, the blow down here. That's what the bush looks like. That's what the real bush looks like. And that's what the trail looks like. Thanks to the, the maintenance of the trail crews. Okay. Time to get this boat loaded and get going. All right, I'm at the North Portage into Poodle Lake in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. This is a new route, relatively new route. I'm not sure how long it's been operational, but um, a lot of the cuts are new and I'm gonna show you some of the work that's been done. First of all, check out the corduroy log landing. I've never seen that before. Is that ever nice? Um, very swampy there, very swampy in the landing here. There's been uprooting due to the blowdown and uh, a beautiful corduroy pad right there. The trees were available anyway because it's a blowdown mess and I'll show you that in a second. So first attribute that I really like is this corduroy landing in the muck. Okay, now, check this out. This is excellent. Corduroy, right there. More corduroy in the soft boggy spot. I'll check this out. Corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. Is this ever nice? And there's the trail, freshly roughed out through the blowdown disaster. It's hard to believe what it must have been like at the event when, when this forest was coming down. Look at these root mats, they've just been ripped right off the, the rock, the shield rock that they were rooted into, or rooted on top of. So this is the way this is the way to make a trail. Um, if there's one thing I can say negative about the otherwise very positive trails in Woodland Caribou Park is uh, sometimes they're a little shy on the, on the corduroy. They could have more corduroy in the boggy places. It's a steep hill start. But I'm sure it's uh, it's good up top. Look at all the look at all the cutting and the the physical labor to cut and throw the stuff aside. Just amazing. And in the park, they use the traditional tree blazes. There's no plastic signage that are nailed into trees. It's it's the axe blaze on the tree. And you learn to look for those, uh, the most important ones are the ones on the waterfront that show you from out on the water where the uh, trail is. Actually, I'll walk back and I'll show you those. So here are the little blazes. They're often bigger than this, but they only had small trees to work with. These are black spruce. And they only had a couple small trees to work with. So these are brand new this year, I think. 
trees that are blazed um, survive just fine. They instantly coat themselves with resin and the, the tissue will start act to actually grow out and almost around the whole blaze. And pretty soon, after a couple decades, they'll become invisible. They need to be refreshed. So that's the traditional trail marking in the north that they use here in the uh, provincial park as well. I don't know how many parties have been into Poodle since this was first opened up. They call it Poodle Lake because apparently it looks like Poodle on the map. I don't think it does, but the name stuck, I guess. I think this is 300 or 350 meter portage. And I'll be spending uh, a day or two in Poodle Lake. Looking forward to it. I'm on Poodle Lake here in the middle of Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. This is a new lake system that got added to the roots. Just freshly cut out. Um, YouTube YouTube man, uh, the North Woodsman, uh, Martin, he roughed this out and may have been the first to camp here. Left a little rock cairn out on the water to signal people that this is the site. Fire rock set. I'll have to modify that a bit for my style, but it's a good start. See all the storm damage here. Must have been quite a task to clear this. So here's my tarp area. And of course that wasn't all clear like that by magic. It had to be all uh, sawn out and Humans uh, tossing the debris aside. That's my standard tarp rig. It's, it's pretty windy. A storm is brewing, I think. I think we're going to get rain later today or tonight. Some big, ugly clouds forming. But the tarp should, should hold good. It's uh, rig taut. And then this is where I have my tent here. This was also cleared out with all the debris. That was removed from this pad. I miscalculated on the setup here. And this tree's kind of in the way, but I'll just have to make do. What's got me a little worried though, is there's two dead snags with very spiky branches that are teetering right over my tent. Now the good thing is that after this storm damage, if those snags didn't come down, and all the other trees did, then they're pretty strong. Um, and these trees will sway unbelievably. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how much jack pine and black spruce can, can sway. Um, and they'll pound each other. So I'm a little worried that the trees will knock the top off of that. It'll come down and impale me. Not good. But I got no choice. That's a big tree. That snag there. That's a, a foot diameter at the base. I would have had to done that first. It would have fallen down across the tent pad. It would have, I would have had to bucket up with a 21 inch uh, bow saw and move sections. Uh, that would have been a lot of work. I maybe should have done that, but too late now. We'll see how it goes. So it's a great first opening uh, of this Pool Lake campsite. Not first with me, the first, but uh, I think it's the first year that it's open. Well, the wind's really picked up. Uh, big ugly clouds are, are uh, coming fast. I can see actually a, a wall of rain over there. The camera can't really expose for it, but I can see it coming. I, the thunder 
is coming too so a big storm is going to blast through in a few minutes i haven't even start i just had a swim and a wash and i haven't even started to uh, rebuild the fire or gather any wood but it might be a write-off for the fire tonight and i might use my uh, little alcohol stove storm is hitting No matter how tight you rig your tarp, as soon as the cold water hits it, it stretches and it sags. So my, my super tight pitch is now drooping and catching a bit of water in the, in the corners. But uh, as soon as there's a break in the rain, I'll go out and tighten it up. It was a scorching hot day today. It was, uh, with my little uh, key tag thermometer, it was about 28 degrees C or about, it was, uh, it was about 82 Fahrenheit or so, and super humid. I hope this rain cools everything down. Well, it looks like I'll be cooking dinner under the tarp tonight with my little alcohol stove. Man, could you imagine camping out without a tarp? I can't. You'd have to run into the tent where you'd be all... Uh, you know, confined. It's really nice to be able to rig a tarp. Pick your campsite so you can always rig a tarp. And then you live under your tarp. And I think this is just the pre-rain. The main storm hasn't hit yet. But it will. <laughs> 